Alright guys, this is going to be a long video. It's February 25th, 2021. Yu-Gi-Oh! Talk today revealed Slifer and Obelisk decks and rumored ghosts from the past. And yet, uh, Morgan Park, what's it? I think it's called Soul Sindering or something like that. So the effect is, is that you can tribute your, your monster it's and your opponent's so monster good. to summon it. Yeah. So it's like tribute a tribute spell. spell. Summon, they said it's an easier spell for summon god card than it is with any other one. Yep. So I'm, I'm wondering if it's like, what would be different part of Slifer and Obelisk or if it's going to be the same one? I'm gonna assume it's different. It might be those cover cards. Those might be the new artworks of Obelisk and Raw. From what I saw, it, they look different. I mean, Slifer and Obelisk. Slifer and Obelisk, yeah. I don't, know, I don't even know what my... Like, I would have to figure out how to get all three decks, or what do you think I should do? I'll have to get three of each, like, the main cards from each set, or three structure decks. That's how it always works. You know, because the deck would only give you one of each of the cards that you need in each deck. So, so I was thinking, like, I could get three Slifer and you could get three Obelisk. That could work. Or we could just pick up whatever we thought was really needed and save up a lot of money that way. That's yeah, but it's, you, gotta, you gotta think them. You guys think though, dude, it's probably expensive and stuff the deck. Like, I doubt they sell cards out of the deck boxes. Yes, they do. They sell. There's all kinds of ways to do it, just like packs. Of course they will. They've always done that. I mean, but it's up to you. If, we could, if you only really want to pick them up, I mean, it was 10 bucks when they come out. I reckon. Plus, tax, if you get three, so it's going to be like, I think, $32. Did you get three? Probably around that. And the shadow, if it goes for the past, uh, it's going to be 14 Yeah. Well, if that goes to the past, goes as hard as it's saying, it's definitely going to be worth it. Like, people are gonna, it's going to be hard as crap to get them. Like, people probably find cases left and right if they have the money for it. I mean, the only card I want out there is Tribute Landers, the Bone Blade, and the number 89. I didn't even, that card. Yeah, I didn't even see any of the fan rate stuff, though. Or I didn't either, but it, it says on NewYorkCard.com that, that those are your five main cards. Well, yeah, I'm sure that's not... That, that whole set is huge. It's going to be bigger than that just one picture. But a picture, I mean, like, the, a picture like that came out for uh, Maximum Gold, and I was like, eh, it looks like it could happen, but I don't know. And then it came out to be like 100% true, so it's probably true. Like, it's going to be crazy. I just, I just saw the Facebook page where Paul got that, and I couldn't even read it on my phone because it was so blurry. You might go zoom it in. I can only identify the number 89 because that was the price part, and who knows how much that's going to be. Well, number 89. Now Cashier is breaking the crap out of that. He wanted that card for so long. Finally came out. I know Lightning Source probably 60 to 80 still, and then Droplets and Talents. It's like a Raigeki or what is it? It's like a Raigeki for either monster, like face up attack monsters or back row, I think. It's like a, a Raigeki or a Harpy's Failure Rest type. So it's like both yeah. of them and more. Um, and then, yeah, those other two cards just came out like like two, maybe two sets ago, three sets ago, and I figured they were all going to get reprinted, but I didn't. I figured they'd spread them out. But, I mean, it kind of makes yeah. sense for them to throw all those cards in there since, you know, they, it's a different time now, but yeah. I wouldn't be surprised they, had, they threw in Zeus in there either. They're probably gonna, they gotta save something for their dang tints, or... But didn't they have, like, Impermanence and had Evenly and had, like, Pog Extravagance or something, too? I didn't too? see Evenly, but I saw Impermanence. I was like, Even I'm gonna have to do... How many times that card they were reprinting? Impermanence is, like, yeah. three, I think, now? So four total, three reprints? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, if we saw it for, like, ten bucks, they might get hit down to, like, five bucks. Which is what I kept telling oh, people no. when they were buying them at seventy, eighty, hundred dollars. It's like, give, give it some time, and it'll be, like, five bucks in, like, a structured deck or something. They usually... Oh, yeah. But, like, now, you know... Oh, yeah! Spend <laughs> I just like how he says things. Yeah, like, oh, like, man. Oh, 
Trample Magma Banner. That's what it says. Floodgate Trample Magician Soul, which is like 80 bucks now. Arachne, which I've been waiting forever. Um, yeah, this is a fake that looks list. Like a, no, I don't think so. Is that a. That kind of looks like a oh, man, list would have came out. It's, it's like under the beach. Yeah, yeah, I was going to ask you the same thing. Is that Ray Raptor? Looks like it. And they finally reprint. Oh, crap. They're actually reprinting those hero cards, too. They're reprinting Brent Bane, Ferris, and Increase, which were the only cards expensive in there. Zodiac. I reckon Zodiac. Barrage needed a reprint. Miss Val Thunderbird needed a reprint. So did uh, Life Justice Cycle Reader. Skill Drain really did, too. Uh, Draft Tricks of Flasia. Like, I don't even know what a lot of these cards are, but I know what some of them are. It looks like. I think that's Viper. Oh, I see what you're doing. It's just a fate and Thunder Force Attack. Yeah. And they're putting. Yeah. Um, Second row. It looks like they're putting in both the Time Thief cards. There's at least two Time Thieves coming out. You can see in the monsters next to that Galaxy Eyes Cypher thing, whatever. Is that what that is? That looks new to me. That's what I was thinking. That looks like a Galaxy Eyes Cypher Dragon. I said you ordered for me. That was like, what, six bucks? I think it was like three something. Yeah. I think it's a new one or an alternate art or something. And there's like, next to the, the Cyphering Lambda, that needed a reprint. Reprint. Is that a ritual? No, it's a link. I'll let you activate Gamma while you have monsters on the board, which you can't any other point, or any Cyphering. So, like, Gamma's kind of dead unless you have no cards, so that's why it's like only. And when you go second, you can activate Gamma because you usually don't have any monsters. But if, you, if you're if you lucky, you can get it out on your turn, and then you can Omega and rip a card out of your hand and get a monster in the game. But that's, you know, that looks like a Raid Raptor card next to IP Mascarena and above uh, Triple Tax of Talent, too, by Trap Director Flasia and all that. It's in the very bottom corner, but I don't know. Like, this could be anything. There's Parallel C in there, like, it's crazy looking. What's the card that's winning by number 89? Which one's number 89? It's to the right, the last card on the first row. Oh, that's like good. Yeah, I think that's Toon Page Flip, which I need to reprint it, too. So. I think I've got your mother card in there, too. It's, it's right on the left. It's going to be crazy. Like, I can't even believe this. This is right up there. It's not the best reprint set ever, though. Oof, I don't know how it's not. For today's yeah. standards. Like, I thought it was going to take them all year to get, like, the access code, triple tactics talent, the forbidden droplets, the... All Just that. did. They reprint all those decks that were hard to get. Like, those Pretty decks, accurate on that stuff. Like or Acti's finally coming out, which I've been waiting for that forever. And that was right next to the, uh, Ritual? Millennium Eyes Restrict. Second row. Yeah, it's like Twin Twisters. Oh, that card. That's Reacti, yeah. It's Tribute 3. Oh, that's a God card. Yeah, that's why I crapped myself. I was like, you Tribute 3, three God cards, and you win the duel. Oh, shit. Yeah, I was like, yeah, they're bringing that thing. I just figured they never bring it out at this point. I reckon they're going to push I'll the God stuff. I'm going to bet you right now. I'll bet you. I'll probably bet you a card out of the set if we, if we buy something out of this. I'll probably buy a box or two. Probably that's will, not, but that's not the way I'll, to go. I'll bet you. I'm telling you, uh, that's not the way to go. The way to go is picking them up because it's hard. It's too big of a set to guarantee. Like, you'd have a better chance if it was like an 80 card set, but it's a 132 card set. So your chance of pulling stuff's gonna be harder and harder. So, like, it's gonna be harder pulling them Ghost Rider than it is pulling all these Ultra cards. Well, I'm saying in general, because you're gonna get a lot of the same things. And then there's probably gonna be like, I don't know, maybe they'll do like four. So you, I don't know how many cards you're gonna get back, but either way, they're gonna be like maybe a certain amount of this rarity and one of this rarity, or they're gonna be like all Ultras. I think they usually do all Ultras. So that might be, maybe that's what they do. But you never know. I mean, dude, this is probably one of the best sets that's probably been out we've ever released. At least for reprints, yeah, I would, I would say so. If this is the real, this is the real deal. She's looking like it, so. So I'm trying, I'm trying to save up and probably give you about eighty, ninety dollars. If I probably want a couple things out of the set, it's probably going to be a little pricey. Oh, it's going to be a lot. Like as soon as it comes out, I highly recommend buying it if that's what you're wanting, because those cards are probably like as soon as these go out, like you buy the cards and everyone buys them, and then you can't find them in stores anymore, and the prices go way up. That's what's going on with like, yeah. like Maximum Gold now. You can't find it. Like the Battle of Legends, you can't find it. So the tens, the tens are hard to gather. Almost completely gone. Yeah. But I'm not really recommending the pack. But I'm recommending just getting the stuff. Yeah. If you're I'm watching, really, I'm really, I know what you're saying. I bet you do feel me. <laughs> I, 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 for like 80 bucks a piece. 
So, what am I going to throw? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I'm about to have it. I mean, I'm recording this whole thing, too, so I'm probably going to upload it. And, yeah, I've, oh, you're recording on Dolphin? Yeah, I've got, like, no real okay. comment for it. Because people already hear my videos and already hear me saying stuff about them. So I'm trying not yeah, to... Yeah, I mean, they haven't really waited on your videos that we cuss them, so, I mean... But cussing doesn't matter. They don't give a crap about cussing. They care about, like, whatever agenda they're pushing. If you say the opposite of it, then you get warning strikes, stuff like that. Haha, <laughs> get warning strikes. Where's my judgment? Like, Solomon's haha, it's not really funny, but there you go. Yeah. I'm trying to, like, I don't think there's a single card that really needs reprint after this set now, pretty much. That's terrible. Like, that's crazy. I mean, I think Impermanence and Extravagant Ball. Impermanence, I know, will probably be under the $5 range right now. After it releases. It might be 10 It just depends. Like, most of the time, they're they're at their cheapest when day one. That's what Uncle Forty's always said, too. He's like, just pick them up on day one. That's your best bet. And within reason. I mean, save up, save up until that day was April 16th. Yeah, I reckon we're probably going to have, like, some videos, like, going and searching for them and, like, opening them. Yeah. Screaming our asses off. We can do that. Or, or at least we're going to be ordering them. Oh, like, with the mail opening? Like, yeah, like mail, we'll yeah, probably, like, mail openings and stuff like that. Yeah. Just for the heck of it. Because I kind of like yeah, watching this video back. I think it's hilarious. Just like, I'm, I'm taking that shit. Like an video. It's going to be bad, sir. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you're really wanting this stuff, it's usually, like, April is when they do the... It was called the we call it the dual power set or the dual overload set, those type of sets. They've been doing those for years. So that's about, uh, our set of that is going to go so fast, is what I told everybody. And then usually in August is when they reprint... August, September is when they reprint everything from the main sets, which I don't know. I guess they can reprint, like, Adam Adam, Arc Solar, Dinosaurs, and, like... A couple other things, but I don't really see a whole lot of things that are going to cost too much after this set unless they hold a crap load of value, then they might just have to reprint stuff twice. Like, they yeah. reprint cards for the better part of, like, they, they started those Megatons in, like, 14. So, for however people want to say it, at least they give you an option to pick them up again at a lot cheaper price. So, but, you know, please share. Because I already got some cards in my head that I'm already wanting. I mean, I don't, yeah. I don't know. I might pick up, depends on what's number 89 is, I might pick two up from him. It's probably going to cost, like, nothing. Yeah. Depending on, like, the thing is, like, a lot of cards will come out and they'll be, like, a dollar, they'll be cents, whatever. And then, like, give it, like, I don't know, three months or so, then they're five bucks, ten bucks, twenty bucks, just because yeah. you can get them. That's just how market really goes. I mean, the top five cards really I want out that set really is just about six or seven. Well, there's a video the right there. Be, you can make yeah, a video on that. The first one's going to be Tribute Lanius for my Raid Raptor deck, because well, that's probably a $200 card. You can just put Tribute Lanius, like, you can just put uh, the Raid Raptor uh, Phantom Knight deck together as one set, like, one uh, one spot on your list or whatever. But, yeah. Okay, so what else? I mean, you got Fall Blade, because that was another expensive card. It's uh, for some reason, yeah. Number three would be 89. Yeah. Uh, four would be probably the God, the God card, uh... It used to be so simple. Like, I used to play it like it was like a really low gear deck, but like with Soul Charge, you used to be able to summon two of the guy card out of the grave or whatever and just tribute it. Because basically the whole deck revolved around like all those monsters to say like when this card dies or whatever, summon two back out from deck. So that way. Do you have that card on a new Yu-Gi-Oh game? No, but I was just about to say um, they are supposed. Austin said sometime this year we might be getting uh, an update on there, which I really hope because the last thing they had on, on there were really like mirrors and stuff, which I'm. Gonna... Oh, dude, that's amazing. They had that. Yeah, I wish they would have already. I really hope it's coming. I mean, aren't the God cards on there? Well, yeah, but Baraki isn't. Baraki was an OCG exclusive. You could not get that in the TCG. It was not legal here. It's just... So that's why it's so damn expensive on every side I look up at it. Well, I guess, but I don't think any TCG, it would even be legal in any English. Because the TCG is more like English. It's, it's America, it's Canada, it's Mexico, it's all those. The only thing that's OCG are like Japan, China, Korea, Vietnam, I think, like the Asian-speaking countries. So yeah. it's kind of weird. So like there's like French, German, Italian, all those are TCG, I'm pretty sure. So... Like, no, none of those except the Asian countries have ever had that card. Even though it's not going to be, like, a huge meta card or anything, but I just think it's really cool that they're finally printing it in the world. Because I really was wondering if they ever would. Like, eh, they probably just... Okay, so my last, uh, I've said four cards so far, right? Something like that. Okay, so then my fifth card would probably be in permanence. I mean, I don't know how many that you would get, but... you get three of all the staple cards. Like, anything outside the extra deck is basically... Oh, I'm so used to playing Coliseum, I forgot I could save. I was driving this. Triple deck of talent. Forbidden droplets. Um, yeah, like... Magician's also is a really good card, but I don't really know what... Like, I think a lot of decks play it. I know Dark Magicians play it, and then Spirals play it, but Spirals kind of got destroyed by the families, because Spirals were, like, the main deck for, like, before the new Master Rule or whatever, because they get, like, every, every deck except Spirals, and then Spirals are just like, oh, I'm going to just be top tier now because you hit me. Then they get it after one format, which I knew was going to happen, and then they then you can start spamming the board with your Synchros and huge, like, fusions and all that, because that was really, like, a really bad time to me when you had to do links and stuff. It was oh, yeah. so little, like... There's so many decks that you couldn't, basically couldn't even really try to play. It was bad. It's like you have to put so much into a link and then you can't do anything where you can put something into a link and then hope you can get to another sea or Heck yeah, there's that a looper. Yeah, for sure. Anywho. So, the third card would probably be probably Pot of Extravagance. Well, the thing is, what deck you play in Pot of Extravagance and you can't play it in every deck? It, banish, uh, it banishes your extra deck, so you have to like give no crap about your extra deck. And then also, you have to do it on main phase one, the first thing you do. So, if you like if you have Upstart Goblin, you activate Upstart Goblin, you do anything, you can't use the Extravagance that turn. So, you have to like draw it or have it, use it. And then after that, you can't add cards from deck. I think you can draw, I believe, but you can't add. I tricked so, by the Altar like, guy. They only play in a few decks, really. Like, usually trap decks. Trap like decks that don't care about the extra at all. Probably, oh, like they like that No. Probably not even. I don't know. They might play it, but they rely on tree toads so much in that deck, so I don't even know if you play in there. So you could banish all 15 of your cards off three, three different extravagance on three turns if the game lasts that long, but I've done it. Like, they play dinosaurs. Like, that was stupid. Like, it's stupidly good in dinosaurs, too, because, like, they do care about their extra deck, but they don't uh, 100% need it. Especially when they go in second,
It just depends on what you have. But I've done it like six, six, and three. Back to back to back to four. Or three different turns and banish a couple extra back. And then I got yeah. with pendulums. I don't know what the ruling is, but if you have pendulums in your extra deck, you can probably banish those too. But I don't, maybe not because they go face up. But either way, like you just like show your, your opponent takes six, three or six of your cards and you banish them. So that's pretty much it. It's good. So then the last two cards probably be Thunder Force attack and dissipate. Mm, yeah. I reckon they're going to be pushing A if they're making this the uh, gun card stuff. So. I mean, I might as well pick them up so that. I mean, when they come out of structure card games, no damage. Well, then nothing's going to be probably too expensive. The raw decks could probably be a couple dollars at that. It's a, it's a more of a fun deck, probably more than a, a meta deck or anything. So, probably. Dude, that's what's going on, me and you doing a freaking God Card deck with you two. Like, oh my god, dude. It'd be pretty fun. Even with, like, the new God Card card that comes out, so it says they distribute all three gods that you want to duel. And guess what? The Dark Arm Duel is just made. Egyptian God Deck profile. Because, oh. you know, they announced the deck or whatever. You gotta get those views, people. Get them views. Probably the Egyptian totally God. Wrong. <laughs> that's wrong. No, this, this is the whole Egyptian God deck. Like, this is probably oh. the whole, which is probably kind of what I did with Heracti, but I gotta see what he even did. Which I don't watch, like, all of his videos. I only really watch the ones that are highly interesting or whatever. But I have yeah, lists. that's what I do. I mean, yeah, I have, like, I lists, lists of uh, deck profiles and different things. And I reckon I forgot to tell you, but I basically have, oh, I look through all your, your bulk cards or whatever, and I pretty much organize by, like, are they main set, are they side set, are they structure deck, are they starter deck? And you only really have a couple for, like, UV Kaiba, Pegasus Joey. Those ones, but you had like pieces of like all kinds of different structure decks, but most of them were actually originals from main sets, like comics and stuff. So, so you can't find all the titles then? Well, no, I found two or three cards from the title. I found some of the ones you were needing, but I think I told you most of them. I didn't find that Megami or whatever girl. I found like Terror the Cave, Terrible, like Ryukishin, or maybe I'm wrong on that. I, I'd have to look, I'm not in front of it. But yeah, but you can do that later, dude. I realize. I'm just saying, that's just, this, that's very, very low on my, even my video to do list. It's just like whenever you can make it and we have them ready, we can do it, but I'm not freaking out about it for sure. I mean, it's going to be a, I mean, it's going to be a fun time doing that. And we don't just have to do one duel. We can literally have the decks done forever now. Yeah. The thing is, the only problem is when we go, when we try to do other decks and stuff, like once we make the deck, we might have to stick with them because there's going to be a lot of like moving and like, what do you call it? Like, I call it like, what do I say? Like crossover or whatever. We're going to lose. You're going to lose, um, like, say, Dark Magician or whatever. So say you have a Dark Magician, but you only have one. Then you want to build, like, you build the Yugi deck, and then you build, like, the Yugi Evolution, or the, you see what I'm saying? Like, cards that are in every single deck are hard to, you know what I'm talking about, like, how you have to buy those trade-ins, because they're using more than one deck, is what I mean by that. Yeah. So, are you back on here? Uh, just about. Yeah, I didn't know if you'd even take it on, so yeah, I reckon. Uh, I left the parking lot around 1, 116, 118. Yeah. Does it take you, like, 20, 25 minutes, usually? Um, 15, 10, 15, maybe. Well, if that's the case, you're, uh, it's already been 20, so, I don't know how that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> so the only thing about my oven here is that I have to, like, it you don't set the timer itself, and it does it. You have to, like, watch it to the time, which I've never really had. So, That's anyway. fantastic. I mean, it's pretty exciting stuff they came out with today, I guess. I mean, like, it's not no good with the God Card sleeve and the God Card deck is coming out. You know, the thing is, there's only going to be maybe five to ten new cards in it, and a lot of it just going to be, like, random stuff. You never know with structure decks. They could put some, like, really good reprints in there, or meta cards, or whatever. Like, I remember, like, they used to not make a lot of really good stuff in those sets, and then they start doing it. And now it's like every time a structure deck comes out, people can just pick it up and it's a halfway decent deck. Like, Monarchs are like that. Uh, you can see like that. You can use, you can use, like, you start to pick up a few cards sometimes, like, kind of meta deals and whatnot, but, um. You bought, you, you bought out the freaking Monarchs because you were, like, going crazy about Monarchs. And the Pendulums and all that. Well, yeah, I had all that money, and then I got rid of all my Monarch stuff and whatnot. And that's not a bad time, so. You know, it was a bad situation here because I bought them all out and everybody wanted the pieces. And I was like, here, take whatever you want. I don't need it. I'll buy it again. And I either didn't or whatever, so. It was just not the smartest thing, so. It is now, so. Yeah. I reckon I'm working on, um, uh, what's this game called? Omega Ruby right now. I'm on the fifth gem. Hey, that's not bad. Yeah, it was on my third gem earlier, so I got it. Not my bad shit more. Yeah. So, I've noticed a lot of things over the last little bit. I'm hoping to do, like, a review of the whole game and stuff eventually. Like, with playing Emerald stuff, I'm seeing, like, like the differences and different things like that. Like, I feel like they should be, like, I know it's kind of bullcrap, but. It would have been nice if you could fly from the beginning because you have to go back and forth so many times in the game. If you want the EXP share, you have to go all the way back to, um, I forget the name of the town. Well, the one with the first gen, the rock gen. But anywho, like, you have to go back there. You have to go, you know how you, like, fight Team Rock or Team Magma. You have to, like, you have to go into Fall Arbor Town or whatever that, just to that town, I think. And then after you do that, you go to the Flannery gem, that town. Um, and then you have to go oh, back really? to, like, then you have to go back to Mauville and then surf on to the next part. Like, that's, after you get the first four gem badges, I feel like that's really, like, the hump you have to get over. And then from five on, you go. Like, you go into, like, a Fortree City with a flying type, and then a flying jam, and then, you know, it's kind of just down, you know, smooth sailing from there, kind of. There's just so many, like, back and forth and surfing, and it gets a little bit rough. That kind of keeps me from playing a little bit, but it's, that's just always how the game works, so. But I reckon I'm going to try to collect my thoughts here at one point, like, hopefully make some videos. The problem is, I don't want to, like, talk for an hour about a game necessarily. I, mean, I can go into extreme detail, or I can go to very, like, very small in detail. But, I mean, I don't, I want to, like, play the game with, like, a new team that I've never used, but it's so hard because I've played it so many times. So I either have to, like, trade or something. But, you know, that's kind of where I'm at. I think the hardest team that I really had to play my team, but I know I started when I played Platinum, I first got Platinum. Oh, Platinum. Um, um, I started out with a Chimchar, yeah. and then I restarted it uh, after I got all legendary, really, because I couldn't really trade over. Um, so then I restarted after I started out with Torterra. They really started with Torterra, because, I mean, he's a beast. Yeah. He's really slow, and then, he's like four times weakness to ice with him. Hitbook, Hitbook really
You gotta have the right team around him, for sure. Like, you gotta remember, they weren't, they weren't going nearly as crazy as they do now with giving every single Pokemon broken news in their own set and all that. Kind of bullcrap. Like, Swampert, like, Wyrm's um, favorite Wyrm on Generation 6, which is just, like, great against, like, Dark types, Steel types, Normal types, and just in general, it's just a pretty decent move. But, um, like, like the stat changes are different, the movesets are different, so it's, like, I told you I've beaten the game a couple times with Swampert by itself, basically, and then pretty much with Eevee on Let's Go within the last year or two. Just I mean, so Swampert's, uh, Swampert up the Mega Form, so... Well, yeah, then, yeah, that's another thing. Then on Generation 6, you can really do it because, um, it has the Mega, too, which I don't have the Mega yet, but... I think I get that, like, after the Fortress Gym. I think Steven gives it to you when he's, giving you, when he's teaching you how to, uh, track down the Capillons or whatever on that bridge. Yeah. I mean, I really wish I had, like, a decent, like, camera setup and whatnot, and I could just do a full playthrough. I need, like, something to hold my game or whatever. I need, a, like, a good camera that's gonna record half hour to an hour at a time. Um, which I might be able to do on my tablet I'm recording on right now, but I gotta hold it a certain way. But the only games I can really play on my TV, which is the only way, the only good, like, the good visual that you can get would be, like, Let's Go, like, Sword and Shield, like, Coliseum XD, and then I have, like, Battle for, like, whatever, like, uh, Battle Revolution or whatever. So those are, like, the only ones for the TV, which I think kind of sucks, because, like, Switch just came out in the last few years. Like, they had some, they originally started on, like, game and TV, and then there was a long time they didn't make any for TV from, like, Generation 4, Generation 5, Generation 6, and then finally the Generation 7 with Let's Go. Like, uh -huh. It's just content, so. I, I really, I've beaten Fire and Leaf Green and Let's Go and all that so many times, it's just, I know, like, the back of my hand, pretty much. Same with Omega and Alpha, because I remember when that was coming out, I was like, I'm gonna be good at that game, because I'm very familiar with those. I think me and you were, we're basically tied on that, and, on that Omega and Alpha Dead Burger. I mean, I kind of held my own against you. Well, I reckon, well, that's another thing, like, see, I have so much to do, I don't have time to level up my Pokemon level 100 or Eevee Trainer, or to teach them the right moves right now, so. The only Eevee Trainer that I did is a Bumble Pokemon is my partner's. Well, there's, there's a difference. There's a difference because a lot of stuff we're using is probably Eevee Trainer, too, that we don't know about. So we got in trades, or we got in events, or whatever, so. Like, that's what I'm saying. I mean, you don't even know that more Shadows even Eevee Trainer. It might, be, it might not be. It kind of upset me. I, I found all my, um, like, uh, memory cards for GameCube, and I have actually a lot of them aren't even beaten. But, um, anywho. I have like two level 100s on my XD, which are my Tyranitar and uh, Salamence, and I always like to get them to 300 in a stat, and they both have 298 attack. I was like, gosh dang it, a couple more points would have done it, but either way, like, yeah. I'm working on all those games, all these, like, I'm just, I don't have time. If I had help, I might have, I'd be able to do it, but there's not enough time to do things, so I just don't freak out about it. I try to focus on one little thing at a time, but like, it's hard to do. I just jump from one thing to the next, just like, a little bit here, a little bit here, and then once it's done, it's just like, okay. So, you know, it's going, it's just going to be crazy, like. Well, after Ghost of the Past comes out, and then you're just, like, sitting there playing against someone not used to playing against Triple Titans Town and all that. Like, I feel like it's both going to be really good and really bad. And it's like... I already know that, like, you're probably listed for Ghost of the Past. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Like, I have a lot of this stuff, probably. I'm trying to think of, like, what I have out of this. I have the Dark, like, Dark Worms, just a regular ordinary. Like, I have Evenly, I have Extravagance, Ethereum, I have Impermanence. I like the Floodgate Trapple, though. I would recommend that one in Trap Trick Equation. Because that's going to be your way to stop Nibiru if you're in Core Deck. If you're going to the uh, Floodgate Trapple up on eBay, it's like 15 bucks. So it's like 50 bucks for three of them. So probably buy 10 bucks with that. So, I mean, I guess it's pretty interesting. Like got, like, all these cards are, look like they might be god cards from, like, Millionizer stripped over to the right. I'm not sure, though. Like, I think you said, like, Fist of Faith or whatever. And, uh, yeah, that's what I was saying. They're, like, they had an obelisk in the picture. You see the fist and the impact. Yeah. I don't know if they're going to reprint those again in the structure deck, or... They probably, uh, they are. They go to your card.com and tell you what card 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 card. Yeah, a couple. Then we'll be able to hold set. They've never done that, which I wish they would. It's hard to find those, necessarily. Either way. I reckon. It's just going to be weird burning into so many, like, hand traps and floodgates and different things now. I reckon, like, we'll have to determine if they're too broken to play or whatever, you know. But you know that God card card that's gonna be broken as hell? It's not gonna be damn, though, but probably, unless it's, like, really, really broken. Like, that Harakti card, I would play that deck again, but I basically need Soul Charge, which is the problem. I got two. I realize, I'm just saying, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you mm -hmm. can't play in the meta or whatever, you can't play it with anyone who played by the family, which I'm really just, like, like, I like playing some of the meta stuff, but, like, a lot of people, that's all they do, and it gets really boring. Like, it's just very repetitive. It's like, okay, I play the same deck, the same build, the same way. I can't play with, like, a good 100, 200 cards or whatever at my disposal, which, if I don't have those cards, it changes up the, the deck build and all that. Because I remember when I was playing against that guy with different puppets, and he's like, British Cherry, I'm like, oh, no, that's, that's gonna be a negate on that one. Like, that's when you could, like, gamma, and it'd be kind of funny. Like, you would overrode, but it'd still get the negate. Like, there's so many different things you can do. You can do a permanence, uh, not a permanence, unless it's already set. Yeah. Um, what's the speed on the third row? First, it's on the first row. It's on the third row, first card. Those two cards are time thieves. Okay. Yup, and the one next to it. Which, I don't know how good they're going to be. Some people love them, some people hate them. I feel like they're time thief cards here. They're going to be worth playing. What is the key right next to the original on the row? Like, the fifth part? I have no clue. Like, some of these are probably, like, uh, OCG imports and stuff, too. But yeah, that link thing, that looks under Magician Soul next to the Heavy Metal Blood Electromite. Right in that area. That card looks exact. That looks very much like a Y Strix or whatever. Damn, I don't know if it's a Y Strix or so like, uh, alternate art, or if that's like. Yeah, I thought I was thinking. Because I didn't think they were getting another link. So I have no clue. But that, that's the kind of stuff I like more than worrying about picking up all these cards. I mean, I mean, if I get the original price for access to a cut longer, then, I mean, I might get it, I might just get one, until yeah, I have one. It's generally the idea behind it. That's why they reprint it, so that people can have them and they're cheaper. And it doesn't take off the community, because then they can, they don't have to spend so much money. That card on the third row looks like Topological Goomblar Dragon. 
Third rail. Oh, third, yeah, third rail, second to last part. Oh, gosh. At the end of the video, or did I pause? Must have been it.